Dr. Lowe comes from a long lineage of people who have served the community. His mother and his father were both activists. And I know he was definitely influenced by a youth group called Man Ching when he was young. He met Kathy there. Kathy was very active, as active as Rolla. My dad has always had a very even temperament. My mom was different. She was really the firebrand in the family. She was an advocate and didn't mind telling people. You know, looking back now through the lens of today's world, Man Ching were really radicals. I mean, they were strong supporters of China at a time where that was hugely, not only unpopular, but illegal in the United States. And my mom wasn't able to get her permanent residency for, for 30 or 40 years, largely because the government had labeled her as a troublemaker. And yet, over the years, these people, as they grew up, they became the progressive leadership in, in Chinatown. Uh, as president of the Board of Chinese Hospital, Rowland actually helped straighten out the finances back in the 70s and then got the Board of Chinese Hospital to agree that we should have a health plan. He then actually went out and found funding for creating this health plan to serve the community with affordable and culturally competent care. We had the good fortune at Chinese for Affirmative Action to have Kathy serve on our board. She was the president for several terms. As a matter of fact, she was the one who was quite strong, quite adamant about services for community members, particularly those who don't speak English well, whether it was health, educational, housing, or immigration services. One of the things that was a big part of growing up was uh, attending community agency banquets. We always went to the Empress of China on the fifth floor. We probably were at Empress of China four or five times a month. Just being part of that experience, it, it instilled in me a lot of uh, sympathy for and understanding of a community service. Even though I'm an old man of 80, I still have that can-do spirit. And Kathy was the perfect partner. The job of raising the children and installing the values that we have rests on her shoulder. Without her, I couldn't have done the things that I, I did do. So I have to say thank you to her. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. well, I have no, no regret. I mean, that he doing what he doing anyway. So the, to the young people, just take full charge. If you don't have the tools, learn to get the tools and learn to say, we can do it. <laughs>